five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Okay, let's make this one a cracker. Hello everybody, 2023. Just like to welcome everybody all back to the channel. The team and I just want to wish everybody all the best for this year. And we hope yours, because we have been thinking about you, was starting as good as ours. Whole purpose of today is for us to show you five absolutely gorgeous cars that we've just completed and they're about to go back to the owners. So without further ado, I'm going to take you onto the first car. This car needs no introductions. It's Nissan Skyline R34. This particular model is a GTT. Came to us from Southern Ireland. Uh, belongs to a guy called Gary. So hi, Gary. Here's your car. Hope you like it. We're just going to take you through what we've done with this one. This vehicle, we sent our trailer over to Ireland. John went and collected it. Almost got washed away in a storm going there and coming back. Had a pretty damn uh, bad time of it. Car came to us. You could see it probably had a, a lot of water damage inside and the floors, quarter panels, strut tower, engine bay, it, it was in, a, it was in a, a pretty bad way. I'm gonna drop a few pictures for you just to have a look at it and see what it was like when it arrived. Uh, and then I'm gonna take you around it down and I'm gonna show you what it is. The first thing which is gonna stand out is the personalized color in the engine bay, which Gary was really, really, really adamant that he wanted to do so. Uh, we've used a, a special mixed colour which, with our um, PPG hard coat, which is on this one as well. Um, Gary sent a lot of stuff over for us as the pro programme developed, uh, such as this uh, carbon fibre bonnet, looks absolutely fabulous. Um, the whole of the paint job, you'll notice this isn't your normal colour. What we've got here is the very popular now R35 GTR dark grey metallic paint this is the paint that nismo use on all of their factory cars that the bill for shows so just take you around this car ever so quickly um, starting from the front we've got an aftermarket bumper on the front there aftermarket uh, bonnet which gary uh, purchased and sent over to us uh, obviously full new window seals all the way around the entire body was flipped over and sandblasted major blasted and then returned back to us for processing um, Gary's going to be fitting some nicer wheels on himself. So these are the original wheels that it rolled up on. So just ignore the wheels if you don't mind. Uh, going all the way through the back, you've got these Nismo design side skirts and the same again with the rear bumper. And then we've got this very pretty looking high rise rear spoiler. The inside's totally standard. We've done a little bit of work on the gearbox where we fitted uh, new solenoids free flash DCU so it gives the response time of the uh, particularly sluggish GTT auto gear box it, a bit of a hard time speeds all that up and it shifts faster than the manual now so this looks fabulous what I'm going to do now is we're going to go underneath the car and then we're going to show you the underside and I'll show you exactly what we've done with that one so as I said next door uh, it's all about the floor this is the car that came from Ireland um, huge amount of renovation work went into the underside of this one sills inner and outer had corroded rear pockets had corroded rear boot had corroded front floor sections had corroded strut towers had corroded so this car has been with us for a hellishly long time getting a huge amount of repair work done everything's fabricated in house all of the weldings done in house and then we give it this beautiful illustrial finish we did a, a feature about 33 gold mine this is 34 gold mine come and have a look at the floor uh, after the floor has been media blasted and if you want to see what the media blasting looks like yet again there's another link which i'll put down there for you and you can see this actual car in bare metal underneath so you can see to the extent of where the corrosion was on it after that what we then do is we epoxy coat the entire floor in this grey which you can see here and then we use this rubber compound uh, the rubber compounds an industrial rubber. It comes with kind of a 10 year guarantee with it as well. It's what they use on oil rigs and uh, all of these salt burden craft that you see to protect them. So it gives the, the owner kind of reassurance that whatever's gonna hit this floor is just gonna bounce straight back off. We've then done wax oil injection in all of the cavities. 
So if you see any little ginger bits lying around here and there, that's purely just the wax coming through and starting to dry off. Everything's been powder coated. We've recoated all of the nuts and bolts and fittings which go with it as well. The only undressed up bit's probably this exhaust system, uh, but that's down to the customer to do that bit. Going through to the back here, we replaced both inner and outer sill pockets, the lower sill pockets and the top of the wheel arches to go with it. Uh, and then we also replaced the majority of the boot floor because that was quite heavily corroded. Um, so all in all, there's a couple of thousand hours has actually gone into this car to get it to the level of where it is now. Uh, and the customer's flying over from Ireland this weekend to come and have a look and then take it home with them.